course, fucking Lenny. Citizens of the world, may I have your fucking pathetic attention? Dead sec, dead sec, <laughs> is a bunch of losers spamming your newsfeed. That they pretend to be the saviors of your free will, when really <laughs> they're just some script kiddies who want desperately to be popular. <laughs> yep, she's right. I do desperately want to become popular. She just described my whole YouTube career in one sentence. <laughs> it all stops now. I am going to teach DeadSec a lesson. And DeadSec, if you think I whoa, 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 or <laughs> can't <laughs> destroy your system, <laughs> well, then please allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ, our laugh is annoying. It's like if you mixed a hyena and a human together. That's not a good mix. Tell me it's just Kiki. It's just Kiki. We're house cleaning the felines. Josh is brute forcing the crypto key. Oh, shut the fuck up! Ah. Oh. All right. So. Are we gonna war for this? Absolutely. We're not letting these trolls drag us into their sewer. Dead Sec doesn't back down. So what? Well, what good is going to war with them? It won't break their lock on us. It doesn't change anything. They got it! No, fuck that. Hey, listen up. We're not gonna let Primate derail us. Let's be smart about this. All right. Primate sells zero-day exploits to anyone with money. Yeah, fucking governments, Bloom, Noodle, even goddamn terrorists. Sons of Ragnarok. What? Hell yeah, Sons of Ragnarok. They hire themselves out to Sons of Ragnarok, right? So we find out as much as we can about their people and their operations. We're not gonna roll over, not for anybody. Yo, Josh, man, where you at? Now it's war. Move. I'll put a message out on the back channels. These guys are bound to have enemies who will give us some intel. Let's cornhole these motherfuckers. Keep working on Kiki. I'm gonna go have some words with Lenny. You know where she's at? She likes to hang at that club in Castro. I know the place. Got a second? Sure. What do you need? I've been looking into the algorithm we scoped from Noodle and something's off. The data it's throwing out is all wrong. You want me to stop by and take a look? Yeah, if you can. Consider it done. <laughs> Imagine that. Some punk wraps up five grand. Ready for the chip, then? Ah, uh, hold on. I'm savoring. Oh, look at this dick bag. So, how many lap dogs you got scrambling behind the scenes to crack my uncrackable log? Credit where credit's due. Now, uh, you want me to ask nicely? Because you could just give me the key and I'd be on my way. What? It's ransomware, motherfucker. Which means you want what? Oh, I want you to make one of those idiotic vids of yours. Wow, I didn't know you were a follower. Oh, you want the precious pros to adore you? Not on my fucking watch. Fuck! Christ, I could see how that hurt. I think you busted a blood vessel in her face. That's the thickest doll I've ever seen in my life! I want... 
public broadcast that says dead sack isn't worth two seconds, never mind 15 minutes of the public's fucking time. Spice it up. Add some tears. Is that all? Sure. For now. But if you don't do it, then I start naming names. <gasps> That's right. Names. Identities. A veritable who's who, bitch. Pam, looks like you're not leaving us much choice. Yeah. Go ahead. Get good. Until then, why don't you run along and make the video I want? Well, what does she want? She wants us to release a vid where we smear ourselves. No way are we doing that. We're gonna send her a message, all right? We're gonna blow up her shit instead. Ragnarok just hired Prime 8 to upload malware into ATM. <laughs> Bank machines it is, folks. They run that through their main club hangout, Rhonda's Diner. I'll send Ghoulie there to scope the place. Meet up with him when you get there. And yeah. BAM! What's up, Ghoulie? What's say, Retro? Ragnar boys hired Prime 8 for some machine hacks, huh? Ragnarok has been using credit skimmers for a long time. Low-scale payoff. But hiring P8 to load malware into the bank machine has tripled their cash flow. <laughs> I'll bet it has. The code skims the data and sends the copy to P8. Neither the user nor the bank have any way of knowing. Ah, but we know. <laughs> yes, we do. Won't take much to mess with their code. Imagine how pissed Sons of Ragnarok will be with Lenny and Prime 8 if anything were to happen to that operation. That's the idea. It's gonna be dangerous. You hang back, Ghoulie. All right, man. Good luck. Time to fuck up this operation. I probably should have told you guys, but I spent $99,900 on spec up weapons, so... Yeah, I think this might work out better. Alright, ATMs are here. Destroy the machines however you want.
setting location on the 1033. Advise conditions. Think we made our point? It's as though a bajillion people exploited by Zero Day Fraud cried out in gratitude. Then he's gonna have a hard time explaining this to the sun. Lenny, that's some telemarketing charm right there. So, we're not gonna do that vid thing. You know what? <laughs> do whatever. Don't even care. Not two shits given. I know my lock is still on your server. Lenny's right. Kiki's still locked, Marcus. Doesn't matter. Game time is done. We go to their digs and get the decryption key. Back channel info says P8 has a bunker. <gasps> a bunker? But there's no location. Lenny has an RFID implant. Can we find the bunker with that? Yeah, it's possible. Sweet. Time to go see Lenny. No more fucking around. Wrench, you're my backup. Yes, I am. You sure you want to keep going with this? I hate fucks. And you know why? The propaganda vids, the graffiti, the anti-whatever do-gooder bullshit. You assholes take yourselves so fucking seriously. No, you coming at us, but you need to understand. We are all in this together. We can all- Hey! What kind of fucking noob do you think I am? <laughs> what kind of shit stain are you for getting caught? I just thought it was worth a hey. show. Okay. See how far you get with dead servers, loser. We got a ping on the Prime 8 bunker. And Lenny is clueless about it. Maybe. Come on. You guys give her too much credit. Wrench, important question time. Aliens versus Predator. The question doesn't make any sense. I mean, aliens basically use Predators as an external womb to perpetuate their species. And the Predators, well, they come from a world where you hunt or you die. They need xenomorphs to hone them into elite warriors. It's a fucked up ecosystem that doesn't really have a winner. Okay, ignoring the science behind it. Purely hypothetical. One on one, who wins? Are we talking Ridley Scott or Cameron? I like the sequel better. Let's go with them. Marcus, that's a bold statement. We need to have that conversation later. But versus a Cameron alien? They're more aggressive, so the Predator wins. Easily. He's way ahead on a technological level, so he's gonna stand his ground when the Xeno rushes him. But that's like asking who wins between one man and one zombie. The aliens hunt in packs. Okay, okay. How many aliens would make it a fair fight with one Predator? Three. I could see a Predator Spearmaster keeping two away with a Yaucha combo stick, but a third Xeno is gonna be able to get in close. Even if he kills it, that blood splash is gonna melt right through him. It's a hard call. You'd have to plug their stats into a probability algorithm. Yeah, they both fought Judge Dredd, which is pretty badass. Aliens fought Batman. So did Predator. 
Let's not forget Superman and Batman versus aliens and Predator. Who won? Can I remember? Doesn't matter. You know what? I give the overall win to Predator. Yeah? Enlighten me. Predator has taken on Archie. Shit, you're right. Archie's basically the top of the food chain. You think Predator's more of a Betty or a Veronica type of guy? Neither. Gotta go with Sabrina. Oh, you make a good argument. I buy it. Predator comes out on top. What's the plan? Get in, get the key, free Kiki. Can we have the bunker? Can we? Can we? You have to help clean it this time. Ah, she always makes me clean. <laughs> Let's start with getting in first. Okay, guys, what's the plan? Well, Lanny's got that door seriously locked down. So, plan B? I got something. There's an old exhaust duct. Probably overgrown, so... I'll find it. I'm inside. Ooh, ooh, stinks of beer and cheesy feet. Just get that decrypt key, fast. Uh, get your hands off my shit. Oh, hey Lenny, I'm in your house, fucking up your shit. She's rigged the place to blow. What? What are we looking at? Two, no, three. It looks like shit. Hmm. Maybe four. They don't seem connected, so I don't think the order matters. How many nodes? Just find another way out. Guys, guys, I need to concentrate.
Look at that. Seems like I handled the booms. This is not fucking over. Um, yeah, it is. Space. It's finally rid of that Prime 8 smell. Is it ready? Yep. Wrench had to spray a bit of bombs be gone, and then whoosh. Go check it out. Self-described art anarchists calling themselves the Ordinate Academy. Rodentia Academy. It's an anagram. Good catch. What's their platform? Total transparency. No privacy for anybody. Then why the masks? These rare masks. What do they look like? Stylish. Low poly. Fuck. That's default. Default? The musician? Default the ex-deadsec hacker. Default, the psychopath asshole who tried to gas me in his fucked up spook show house. Okay, I'm definitely gonna check these guys out then. Gives me a chance to meet one of the new followers too. <laughs> 